Okay, trying to change Renaissance guy here, and I'm just going to do a quick video. And uh, I've done a similar sort of video before, and um, I'm going to kind of repeat it again. And it is on gratitude, and I think a lot of people these days are really not focusing on gratitude. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it uh, because what I've seen, especially those people who have receive so much and yet they still seem to stand there and feel the need to denigrate and call people out and all this kind of stuff um i'm talking about people like uh, emma watson i'm talking about all the people who you know I, and i'm going to pick on emma watson a little bit because i think it's absolutely disgraceful so i'm going to start with what i am actually grateful for here so before i get into that let me say i'm grateful first and foremost for myself for having the determination to do what i need to do for making the choices that i needed to make and to set my life on next is my mum and dad because they taught me everything from child to follow what i need to do to work hard to get that and to move forwards <coughs> and then thirdly Actually, is to my area manager who took me on and trusted me. And I'm grateful for that because I'm able to live the life that I want to live, do what I need to do to attain my goals. And there's so many, there's so many people that I am actually grateful for, for supporting me, getting me to where I need to be, helping me. And, um, you know, I always remember that where I am is because people have stepped up to help me out. You know, my family, uh, so many people. But then I hear her, people like Emma Watson. And, you know, she has money coming in and out of the Harry Potter series. She is where she is because of the Harry Potter. She's where she is because of what she's done. The fans who put there, the writer who had a little bit of influence in it, and everything else as well, all the cast who did Harry Potter, and what they what they actually have now. I know there are some who have gone <coughs> gone another way. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a chest infection, but a lot of them, and you know, you can see the lack of gratitude in them. Well, this series of books have made them that, along with other people who. Seriously, seem to lack the gratitude that they should be giving to other people. And I'm not saying that, you know, you should ignore your own efforts. You know, of course, you know, people put a lot of hard work into it and stuff like that. But when someone gives you a chance to do something, even if they say, oh, uh, even if they say something they don't agree with, hey, we all agree with things, but to then turn around and actually shoot your mouth off and try to bring down somebody who actually put you up there in the first place, it's dishonest, it's disgraceful, and it's disgusting. And I have no time for people like that. I have an absolute contempt for people like that. It just is absolutely disgraceful. And um, gratitude is one of the greatest things that keeps you grounded and keeps you true to yourself. As soon as you lose that gratitude, you lose the best parts of yourself and you forget where you come from. And that is one of the greatest tragedies that can ever happen in a person's life. And in fact, you could turn around and, said, and say it is a tragedy to see how these people are acting now. The disgraceful way they're acting, to be quite honest with you. <coughs> and I look, on, I look on people like J.K. Rowling, who have never forgotten where they came from. And I know for a fact, I know for a fact, because I know someone who knows her. And uh, they knew they lived very close to where she lived. And they met up with her, uh, and, uh, I think last year, and they said, you know, she's still the same person, worrying about, you know, making ends meet, even though she's a multimillionaire. She she has never lost that 
sense of humility and gratitude for where she has. So, really, really the thing is, is we, we all should be able to disagree. There are some things that I don't like that some of my friends say. I don't like what they say sometimes. Hey, they're still my friend. <coughs> I still keep in touch with them. But I don't make it my life's work to go and destroy them just because they have said something. If I've got a problem with that, I speak with them in person. It's as simple as that. So, gratitude. Keep it real. Do better. Be better.